You know what time it is. It's the beer review time. It's time for the beer review. Let's get to it. Beer, beer, beer. I'm going for a beer. Beer, beer, beer. I'm gonna drink some beer. I like drinking beer. Lovely, lovely beer. Uh, this week's beer is uh, Midas Touch. From Dogfish Head Brewery. Out of Delaware, United States. Wow, Delaware. I didn't know that Dogfish Head was from Delaware. I had no idea Delaware had anything to offer the world. Right. I always think of that scene in Wayne's World. Right. <laughs> Hi, we're in Delaware. Anyways, uh, yes, this beer, Midas Touch. And, you know, we should comment on the bottles of these beers that we drink. They're all unique. They try to catch your eye. They're aesthetically pleasing, that's sh- for sure. This one's a lavender color? Uh, yeah. I mean, the bottle's brown. Every beer bottle's brown. But, but the label on it is definitely a lavender with a almost puke yellow. Yeah, it's like a an Indian theme. Yeah, that's a good, good, good call on that. Maybe Mayan. I don't know. Yeah, maybe Mayan. But it's called Midas Touch. And it's handcrafted ancient ale with barley, honey, white moose cat, muscat, someone tell me how to say that, grapes, and saffron. Well, I tell you what, it is an ancient ale, and with every sip, I feel more and more primal. Yes, it's a 9% alcohol per volume. Maybe so, that's why. So I it's going to so. do the job. You know, as I'm sitting here taking a sip of this, 9% per volume. <sighs> It's uh, it's not as heavy as I expected it to be. No, in fact, it's quite bland. It is kind of bland. You just you taste the honey right away, and but that's pa- about it. It's not as thick for being nine percent alcohol. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm halfway through the the glass here. I'm I'm already feeling a little good. Yeah, I know. Halfway through this, and uh, it's getting hard for me to get through this review here. <laughs> but uh, they say themselves, might as touch. They say this sweet yet dry beer is made with ingredients found in 2,700-year-old drinking vessels from the tomb of King Midas. Wow. Is that true? I don't know. There's no asterisk or source. <laughs> and yeah, there is no source. And it says, somewhere between wine and mead, Midas will please the Chardonnay and beer drinker alike. Whoa. Oh. With uh, 12 IBUs, I would hope so. You know, dry, do I, I don't taste dry to this, really. It's sweet. It's just really sweet. Yeah, I mean, there's no, you know how you get that, that, that slight bite from anything dry or bitter? I don't get that at all with this beer. No, not really. There's maybe, like, what I think of as a dry champagne. That, okay. That kind of aftertaste, but it's not thick, and it's sweet, and it's pretty easy to drink. It's just, it tastes just slightly above a shandy. Yeah, that's a good call. Without the lemon. I don't taste any lemon in here. Yeah, it's like shandy with honey instead of lemon. Well, those uh, kings over in Midas Lang knew what they were doing. <laughs> this is quite good. I- uh, all right, let's get to it. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Josh, Midas Touch, thumbs up or thumbs down for you? A slight thumbs up. A slight thumbs up. So If it wasn't 9%, it would definitely be a thumbs down. Yeah, I, I'm going to also give it a thumbs up. Because it's pretty easy to drink. It doesn't taste bad. No. And if it's 9%, who? Yeah, six pack of these, it will ruin your night. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) All right, so that's two thumbs up from the Philosophy Jerks for Dogfish Heads, Midas Touch. Clink. Clink. Beer, beer, beer. I'm going for a beer. Beer, beer, beer. I'm going to drink some beer. Dear listeners, one up for everybody here at the Philosophy Jerks. Log on to the Super Information Highway and visit us at philosophyjerks.com.